So with the French Open draw only 24 hours away, we're going to have a look at all the seeds for this event and also the odds as well for the betting because the number one and two seeds don't actually mean that they're the number one and two favorites in the draw. We're also going to have a look at some of the unseeded danger players that the top players don't want to have to play. Let's start with the women's seeds. So starting with the women's seeds and the odds for the top 32, you can see there we've got Sviantec at one, Sabalenka at two, Pagula at three, Rabakina at four, they'll be the top four seeds for this one, and they won't be able to play until the semi-final. We've got Garcia at five, Goff at six, Jabur at seven, Zachary at eight, and the top eight seeds don't play until the quarterfinals, so those players can't meet until the quarterfinals. Kazakina at nine, and Kvitova at 10, but some of the players outside the top 10 that are worth looking at from a betting standpoint, and also maybe as a dangerous third round, fourth round opponent for the top 10, Krajikova. You can see there, very short odds at number 13 seed, and nobody wants to play her in the fourth round on a clay court of course former French Open champion Ostapenko the 17th seed could possibly meet someone like a Sabalenka or a Sviantec in the third round of course also won this tournament back in 2017 so very dangerous to see where she falls in the draw and also Bedosa number 29 seed she is very short odds as well actually more of a favorite to win this event than Ostapenko, which is kind of crazy, at a plus 2,000. But again, she is someone that Sviantec, Sabalenka, Bagula, Rabakina don't want to see as a third round potential opponent. Checking out the players that are dangerous, unseated players on the women's side, Sloane Stevens, she's actually number 35 in the world currently, has an eight and three record on clay as of the recording of this video. So former finalist as well, definitely a first round opponent that a lot of these seeds want to avoid. Kalen Skyer, also another player that nobody wants to play in the first round, number 53, in the world. Seven wins, three losses on the year on clay. Also beat Rabakina in Madrid a couple of weeks ago. Gondrusova, number 57 in the world. Another player that nobody wants to play in the first round. Six wins, two losses on clay to this stage. And also a former finalist here, of course, back in 2019. Number 68, Masarova, a former French Open junior champion with a 7-3 and three record on clay this year. So another player that a lot of seeds don't want to play in the first round. And then number 84, Osorio, who's actually playing the qualities right now, has a 10 wins, three loss record on the clay this year, including a nice little run in Madrid. If she gets through the qualifiers, nobody wants to face her in the first round. So having a look at the men's seeds now and the odds for the men's champion. You see there, Alcaraz at number one, Medvedev at two, Djokovic at three, and Ruud at four. Those four guys can't play until the semifinals, but we could have a situation where Djokovic and Alcaraz are in the same half of the draw. So the two favorites, according to the betting, could be facing off in a semi-final. Sidney Pass comes in at number five, Holger Runa at six, Rublev at seven, Sinner at eight, and of course the top eight can't play until the quarterfinals. Fritz comes in at nine, and Oji Aliassime comes in at number 10. So most of the favorites, as you would expect on the men's side, coming from the top 10, but some players outside of that top 10 worth looking at, of course. Alexander Zverev, the 22nd seed, made the semi-finals last year before he, of course, hurt himself rolling the ankle. He's a pretty short odds, so the bookies haven't forgotten him. Also Musetti, he's actually come in pretty short at plus 10,000 to win the tournament, but we all know beat Djokovic and has had a pretty decent clay court season. So definitely someone to watch out and nobody wants to play him in the third round of this event. And Serendolo, he's had a really good run as well. So potentially a third round opponent for someone like an Elkrez, that would be an absolute nightmare for a top 10 player to play Serendolo. So a couple of players there as well that might not necessarily be the favorites, but could be really nightmarish third round opponents for some of the top 10. Having a look at the unseated dangerous players as well. Number 38, Umber. He's had a very good clay court season. Actually won a challenger event a couple of weeks ago. So he's got a 12 win four record on the clay this year. No one wants to play him in the first round. Sebastian Baez, number 44 in the world. He's got a really good record at 15 wins, 9 losses, and actually is currently playing right now this week, so that might only get better as we get closer to the event, especially if he wins the title this week. Also pushed Vera to five sets last year at the French Open, so definitely someone no one wants to play in the first round. Echeverri, 46 in the world, another Argentinian, 18 wins, 10 losses on the clay, very good this season on the clay, and of course played Djokovic only a few weeks ago, pushed him to a tiebreak in a first set, so... Another player nobody wants to find in their first round match. Lajevic, number 51 in the world. Of course, beat Djokovic. Took out Rublev as well to win the title in Bosnia. 17 wins, 9 losses on clay. So another player nobody wants to play in the first round. And another qualifier. So maybe this might be irrelevant in a couple of days. But Karatsev, number 62 in the world. Playing the qualities at the moment, which is kind of crazy. Because he is in the top 100, which usually gets you automatically qualified. 11 wins, 4 losses on the clay this year. And of course, we all know what he can do because of what happened in Australia a couple of years ago. Definitely another player that nobody wants to see in their first round. So if anyone's playing a qualifier in the first round, watch out to see if Karatsev makes it through. So there you have it. All the seeds, all the odds for the tournament, and also a couple of players that nobody wants to play in the first round, especially if you're a seed 
But let me know down in the comments below. Is there anyone I missed there? Is there some unseated players that maybe you expect that nobody wants to face in the first round? Of course, players like Dominic Team, Vavrinka, of course, you know, being former champions and former finalists. Nobody wants to play a former champion at this event in the first round. And also the locals, of course, French, men, French women. Nobody wants to play any of those players in the first round because, of course, they will get the crowd support. And we know that the French Open crowds can be kind of crazy at times. But tomorrow we'll be live for the draw ceremony. Make sure you join us because we're going to find out where all these players fall in the draw.